back to my channel. I am Tony B, CEO, founder, creator, employer, employee, all the other good stuff of the Tumblr Doctor. As you read by the title, um, today's video is going to be about the three best um, beginner-friendly epoxies that um, you can find as a beginner. Um, I am basing this solely off of my experience with using them on tumblers, you can on uh, wine glasses. You can use them on other things like keychains, um, coasters, floor art, wall art, whatever you want to epoxy pretty much, wood. Um, but I'm giving you my opinion based off of tumblers and wine glasses because that's what I do. However, in my little crafting area down in the garage. Um, a little craft space, you know. Um, I have coasters that I'm trying out um, to see how it works with that because I want to offer like coasters and stuff and you know, just a little something. something. But um, the reason for this video, let me give you a little background, is when I started or when I was thinking about starting my business. Oh, excuse me. Um, I utilize YouTube a lot. YouTube, Google, research, just a lot. It was a lot of sleepless nights for me. And when I thought about, I, I, when I thought that I really wanted to do like cups and tumblers and get into it because I felt like I had a passion for it, um, it wasn't in my budget to go and spend 50, 60, 80, 90, 100 dollars in some epoxy. Um, especially when I know I wasn't. I didn't know how it was going to be. I didn't know if it was going to take off. I didn't know what it was going to do. I didn't know if it was going to be something that I just had a hobby for at the moment. And then somehow or another, it became too much work. And I was just like, forget it. I didn't know. And my budget, for one, you can't really set, set a budget. But you have to set it and stay firm to it. So I set it and I stayed firm to it. And a lot of my budget went into my equipment. Um, Equipment? What is equipment? Like my cricket machine, my heat press, all that other good stuff. Um, then another chunk of my budget went into inventory. Um, inventory, I don't buy a bunch of cups, like five, about 10, 12, five cups, and keep them on deck until the order comes through. That was never my goal. That was never something that I wanted to do, and that was never something that I was going to do. Um, so... What I decided to do was get a few cups um, and just use those as my starter to make something become bigger. So I've never been the kind of person that orders in bulk unless I know for sure that these cups are going to be bought because it ain't easy when you first start. Um, and when I was looking at this, I was like, man, I'm not going to pay $100 in epoxy. I'm just not going to do it. And then a lot of these YouTubers, they're huge. You know, they got over 60K followers, a lot of their stuff. Um, what is on my chin? Oh, sorry, it's glitter. Um, mm, I was moving stuff from upstairs to downstairs because my little crafting area is ready to go. Um, but, yeah, um, a lot of them are sponsored. So it's only right that they're going to promote things that they get paid for. And sometimes when that happens, the opinions are kind of you know, slay towards a lot of positivity and like not a lot of negativity. But I just wasn't going to do it because I wasn't getting paid to promote and I'm not going to pay for something that I don't know if it's going to work. But, um, I ended up going to Michael's one day and I stumbled across one of them. I ended up going to Hobby Lobby one day as I ran out my other one or almost out of my other one and accidentally stumbled across that one then the third time i went into hobby lobby by accident i was supposed to go on michael's but the item that i looked at it online i couldn't remember if i seen it on the hobby lobby website or if i seen it on the michael's website and by the time i went back it was gone what i was looking for so i just thought i seen it in hobby lobby and i went in hobby lobby and i stumbled across the next one so I think I'm going that order. Yeah, I think I'm going to that order. So, um, coming in at number three of my top favorites, and this is also the cheapest that I've seen this far. I think it was 19.99, and 
and then I paid um, $20, $20, and then it was 20% off, so I paid like $19, I think, maybe, or maybe it was $20 after taxes. But coming in is a Lumalite Amazing Cast or amazing clear cast and it's a two part potent and casting resin and as you can see like I said there's other things on here like this resin is not just for tumblers but this is what I use it on and it came with two sticks and three cups and the three cups was just medicine cups like this um and I'm gonna tell you what these are used for if you don't know and if you do know you can skip through this part if you want to but I'm gonna educate the beginners remember we always started we all started from the beginning so sometimes you gotta go back a little bit to bring them forward so we can all grow together so part A and part B is you're gonna have a part A which is probably most likely gonna be the resin and I think the part B is a hardener I always get too confused but Part A is going to go here. And when they say one to one mix by volume or one to one ratio or one by one. So let's say you want to put 10 ounces of resin in or on something. So you're going to fill it up to the two and a half for your part A, which is either your resin or your hardener. And then you're going to do part B, which is going to be your resin or your hardener or your hardener not both but one so if you put part a in here part b needs to go in here and then you're going to take the two and you're going to put it in the cup and then you're going to stir it until it turns clear again because it's going to change colors because remember you got two chemicals mixing and they have to come together and then it's going to turn back to its normal color once you become a pro you can save some cups and do it in one cup and be able to master it but yeah it's a two-part thing now smell wise this thing is horrible like this is horrible you got to wear something to protect your face your skin everything um that's a disclaimer on any resin make sure you're wearing something protective to cover your face make sure you're wearing um gloves and make sure it's not anything on your skin and if it is you want to get alcohol soap and water and make sure you get it off good because it will irritate your skin and harden on your skin um and possibly take some of your skin off um but yeah the smell it stinks um this is definitely something you want to do outside um i don't recommend doing epoxies in the house even though I had to at the beginning because I just didn't have anywhere to do it. Um, but now I do it outside in the garage with the door open. And I don't have to worry about lifting the windows up or the whole house smelling like resin or any of that good stuff. Um, but um, this right here was my beginner. It was easy to work with. Um, it takes about 24 to 48 hours to dry to where you can touch it. Um, after about maybe 20-30 minutes it gets tacky um, if you want to do glitter like that or whatever um, after about 24 to 48 hours um, you can do light sanding and then either re-epoxy if you want to or just let it be or whatever else you want to do to it spray over it or whatever um, I, after maybe six to eight hours you can take it off and put it on a drying rack try not to touch it because like I said it is sticky and tacky and your fingerprints will get on whatever you're working on and then you probably pretty much gonna have to sand that down real low or until you can't feel those fingerprints and things on there and re epoxy um, with any epoxy it is seven days to fully cure um, I don't care what they say wait them seven days make sure if you're going to ship something off you let your customer know hey um wait seven days before you sip out the cup because epoxy hardens at its best at seven days um so you definitely want to make sure you include that disclaimer in there so that way if you haven't done a cup if you just finished the cup on wednesday and they get it same day thursday or they order one day shipping um they're not sipping out of a cup that's not cured fully because it messes with the body and they can get sick and possibly lawsuit. I don't know. 
put you out of business before you start. Um, but yeah, this is my opinion. This right here worked perfect for me. Um, to be honest, twenty dollars you can't beat. Um, it was eight fluid ounces, which meant um. I mean, 16 fluid ounces. I'm sorry. Um, part A was 8. Part B was 8. Um, and, yeah, it worked fine. The smell kind of went away after maybe three days. Um, so, if you do go with that one, you might want to extend your shipping or pre-make them um, if that's something that you're into. And then, so that way that smell can kind of, ooh, because you don't want to package that smell. And that's another thing with resin and making sure it's cured because you don't want to package over uncured resin and then when they pull it off they pull it off the resin the glitter and everything else the vinyl all your stuff is all your stuff is on the plastic then they want a refund and then you got to deal with that i never had that happen but i'm pretty sure if you put a uncured cup in a box that's what's gonna happen um okay so going into number I don't want to say number two, y'all, because these these last two go hand in hand. Like, they both are my favorite. That one, Number three is not my favorite, but it's cheap and it's easy to use. It's just a smell for me. I don't got time for that smell. But I don't know which one I want to do next. I really don't. Okay, 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 okay. So, this is one of my favorites Um, this far. But I'm going to tell you, and this is actually the set, the first time I went to Hobby Lobby and I stumbled across it and I accidentally, what you call it, I accidentally, um, bought it by accident because I wanted to try it. Um, and it was, it was, it was the package for me. I try to, um, yeah, I try to screenshot these as I'm doing them somewhere. I don't know where. I don't know. I have to put a little snip picture up there um sorry i got short or whatever i was sitting on my leg and my leg is going to sleep okay these two right here are my favorite art resin i love art resin guys listen i love this so it has a very low odor let me start with that the odor on this is very low um it's really low you don't really smell anything. Um, it's it's pretty good. It's it's thinner than this one, um, epoxy or amazing clear cast. It's thick. I forgot to mention that it's thick. Um, this isn't as thick as you can see. It's still a little bit in there. It's not as thick as the amazing clear cast, and it is. I I feel like the harden time. As far as me taking it off of my turner is a lot quicker than actually the Amazing Clear Cast brand. But I love this, love this, love this. However, the con of this item, this epoxy resin, is the fact of the price. These little things are no more than four ounces and they cost $30. And I got them from Hobby Lobby, so you know when you buy stuff from Hobby Lobby, Hobby Lobby stuff already be marked down. And because it's marked down, you can't use a coupon. Um, so if I could have used a coupon and got these things down to probably like fifteen dollars or ten dollars, I might would have I would have bought this again and again and again. However, um, because this right here is so pricey it kind of deterred me from the item even though i'm getting a good product i'm still to me not getting my money's worth because it's only eight ounces total four ounces and if you're doing constant 20 30 ounce cups and up then it's kind of like you're only getting a couple of cups out of this especially if you're one of the people that glitter using epoxy then it kind of cuts your downtime downtime and use time out of this epoxy um, so it was the price for me that deterred me off of this and was the reason why I said I will never buy it again unless it goes down because I paid $20 for 16 ounces and that worked just as fine as me paying $30 for that. Um, but it didn't dine to me at the time because I was just so excited because I wanted to try something new. 
that when I realized that I had a lot of orders and this little bit of reason, I was like, man, I just wasted money. Because remember, it's going to eat into your profit because anything that you're putting into that business is going into that sale, okay? So if you ain't making your money back, you need to reevaluate your prices and the stuff that you're buying. Okay, so number one. Number one, one, one. Number one is going to be... No, I'm joking. Number one is going to be another amazing clear cask. But look. Plus. <laughs> plus. So, amazing clear cask. And let me tell you, before I say this, this was not out. I never heard of it. Did not have no reviews, nothing on this. But now, all of a sudden, I don't know what Luminlight did. But it's popping. I see this everywhere now. I don't know if it's just because I bought it or whatever that I see it now. I don't know. These phones be snitching, y'all. These phones be snitching. I can say something and then boom, it pops up on my phone. Even while I'm scrolling on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. I'm like, come on. How you know that? I went to the store, but uh, you don't know what I bought from the store. So they be snitching. But anyway, listen. Amazing Clear Class stepped their game. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm making a lot of noise. They stepped their game up with this. Okay? They stepped their game up with this. And the reason why I say they stepped their game up is because this right here has low odor. It does not have an odor until you heat it up and pop those bubbles. Now, when you pop those bubbles, then it has the same smell as the Amazing Clear Cast Original. And then I also like that this box right here, maybe because it's just the tumblers right here, but this box is a lot more exciting than this box. This box is like... Ooh. Like, like that but this box is like popping 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 but this right here this one had a lot more um oh no it don't it has the same but this one right here came with the same thing it's also bigger so it's 32 ounces and i paid 30 dollars for it at hobby lobby y'all know these stickers if you've been to hobby lobby you know these stickers so i paid 30 dollars for this 32 ounce and it came with the same thing um part a part b and i think it came with cups yeah it came with sticks and cups and i think that's what they do with all their items they put cups and stuff in there but it also has the artwork on the back if you do art and stuff and it gives you the instructions it is two parts so you're going to take your two parts and put it in the one part um, you're going to mix it and then you're going to pour slowly if you're doing art or if you're doing on a tumbler as well, you want to pour slowly. Um, but yeah, this one right here, I felt like they made more geared towards tumblers. It's not saying you can't use it on coasters and keychains and stuff like that, but I actually feel like this formula they put in here goes well with tumblers than this one right here. It could be the same formula and they just added some more stuff to it. That's fine, but this one right here is still thick um it's easier to work with um it dries a little bit faster as far as taking it off the turner um and it is one of my favorites i think this is my favorite only because of the price and the size um i still got some of this i have not used it all i can get a lot of cuts out of this for some reason i don't know but yeah the odor is only low when you um when you heat it up when you heat it up that's when the smell starts to come and then as it dries you no longer smell it um curing time is the same thing 24 to 48 hours you want to wait sure it's kind of hard what i usually like to do is i like to tap it um i usually have on nails i don't have on nails now so i either take a stick or I'll take something to um to kind of smack it to see if it's okay. Well, not smack it, but tap it to see if it's hardened. Um, these right here, I think this was the, probably the best deal that I got out of all three of these epoxies. But these are very beginner friendly. Um, all of these that I mentioned are two parts, part A and part B. And let me see, does it say it on this one? So it don't say it on this one, and I just realized that it says it on this one. So part A is the actual resin, and then part B is actually the casting resin or the hardener. Um, so yeah, I didn't realize they had that on there, but that's very informational. Um, but yeah, if you're just starting and you don't know what works or you just want to try to kind of test some things out and try to make sure you're 
perfecting your craft before you put it out there i would go with one of these three um because like i said it's easy to use it's cheap i don't know how long Illumilite is going to be cheap like this because now that they're getting more um traffic and they're becoming more popular and i'm starting to see more youtubers actually um do this then um that's the only reason why i say i don't know i don't i don't know how long it's going to be affordable and cheap but i know you can get that at michael's you can get it at hobby lobby you don't have to order it off of amazon you don't have to order it off their website i will include it, the links or try to include the links in my description for all three of these um i'm not gonna put the website actual website because they ain't paying me i ain't i ain't gonna promote for free okay if y'all if, if you watching promote me i'm joking i'm joking y'all um but yeah these are my favorite top three beginner friendlies they worked well with me i got good results out of them my customers loved them um i loved them so if that's what you want to go or the route you want to go um i would definitely go with that and everything because that is my that's my favorite i love these it's like my children but yeah, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, follow me on social media, um, Facebook and Instagram, the Tumblr Doctor Dr. Like not Doctor, like spelled out Dr. The Tumblr Dr. Okay. Make sure you guys follow me because most of the time Instagram hears it first, and then maybe Facebook or maybe they hear it at the same time because I think I got them both linked at the same time, so they they do everything at the same time. Leave a comment. I do. I'm human. I do respond, not just with the heart. You know, I like to interact with you guys. Um, let me know what you want to see. Let me know if you want me to do a small business series, series um, about getting started and stuff like that. Because what I did was I took a lot of bits and pieces that I learned from other people because I wasn't finding what I wanted and what I needed um, and kind of made it my own. And my way has worked so good so far with me trying to get everything situated and make some money um so yeah let me know what you guys want to um see hit that notification bell i'm gonna try to upload maybe two or three times a week not sure what days yet um definitely on the weekends probably like saturday or sunday maybe saturday and sunday i don't know yet but I want to push out a lot of content. Um, once I get my stand, I'm going to actually start doing some tutorials and showing you guys some tricks and stuff. So, yeah. Um, I hope you guys like this video. Um, if you go to my Instagram and you follow me from um, YouTube, make sure you tell me. Like, like a picture say from YouTube. I'm like, yo, what's up? You know? So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time. Bye.